We will resurrect from the instant of death into a greater being. Everybody take a cup. All right, everybody ready to drink the Kool-Aid? You go first. You go first. I promise, I will drink right after you drink. I promise. You know what, I, I gotta use the restroom real quick. Where, where are you going? Right back. Greg, where are, you, where are you going? We're supposed to finish these. All right, I'm gonna go find Greg because we're breaking down episode nine of American Horror Story Cult, Drink the Kool-Aid. But before we get into it, make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss any of these breakdowns and videos on The Walking Dead as well as Stranger Things season two. All right, guys, Greg is coming back in here. You all right? I'm fine. Okay, we're gonna ditch these because we don't wanna drink anything that's in there. There was actually nothing in there. We're gonna jump into episode nine of American Horror Story Cult. It's called Drink the Kool-Aid. I'm sentencing you to 24 months in prison. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no! Oh yeah! Oh yeah. 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 Okay, first off, this is the second episode in the American Horror Story franchise that has aired on Halloween. Hmm. Yes, that was back uh, Asylum Days, right? Season yeah. two, episode three. What fun. This episode opens up with Kai doing a little story time, and he's telling his followers about three cult leaders that mm -hmm. he thinks are great men. That'd be Marshall Applewhite, David Koresh, and Jim Jones. Oh man, I clearly remember the Heaven's Gate yes, me situation too. when I was a kid. Yeah. That's one of my uh, memories as a kid, just because of the shoes and everything was every, on every channel. I remember seeing the footage in the bunk beds. Awesome job on American Horror Story's part of kind of intersplicing real footage mm -hmm. with stuff they reshot, obviously, with Evan Peters. Halfway through, I'm thinking, is that Peters? Wait, it, it, yeah. the way they shot it together, it was really well done. Yeah, very good job. Evan Peters continues to, I think, impress us as he does every single episode. Time is short. Last chance. By the way, that Kanye joke was hysterical. <laughs> I completely didn't see it until you brought it up again. I missed that entirely. But the Kanye of leaders was the great Jim Jones, the man who coined the phrase, drink the Kool-Aid. Who's playing Kanye the cult leader next year? Who's gonna play him? What actor? Kanye. <laughs> he, he would play it. <laughs> it would be Kanye. Every, Kanye would play. every role will be Kanye, 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 and Kanye. What do you think about all the nicknames Kai has for his followers? <laughs> it was like the seven dwarfs. That's right, Buzz Bucket. You don't have to raise your hand, tripod. Would you do that for me, Speedwagon? Sandstorm, gutterball. All right, let's talk about a few things that we noticed throughout this episode. Number oh. one, Kai and his push for loyalty amongst his followers. He wants to know who will not only kill for him, but who will kill themselves for him as well. Yeah, he wants to know who would die for me. Evan, I don't know if that's an ego thing driven by him or not, if this really is the cult he's going for. It's a power move. I, I really wasn't surprised that he was bluffing all along. I know that there are kind of some foreshadowing that <laughs> like the, obviously the Kool-Aid thing, but there's no way with a few episodes left that they're just gonna murder, you know, kill all themselves yeah. in this episode. It reminded me a lot at the very end where they're like, ah, gotcha, and there, it's nothing in there. It reminded me of like an episode of The Office, something that Michael Scott might do. I'm Prison Mike. You know why they call me Prison Mike? Do you really expect us to believe you're somebody else? Do you really expect me to not push you up against the wall, biatch? Oh, wow, wow. Yes. So Kai passes his own damn bill, yep. uh, the Internet Freedom and Integrity Act. <laughs> okay. Yep. And he's now running for Senate. Yeah, and he's basically forcing the bill in with physical violence. If you don't vote in his favor, then you're gonna get hurt, so. They um, can see the guy right there next to him. We got his ass kicked. They know what happened. This is, this, okay. And still from episodes past, Kai does not trust the women in the cult. No, he says, where are the women? Early in the episode too, it's yeah. weird. Beverly was in lockdown, right? We hadn't seen her for a little bit. And Winter, Ivy, and Allie are mm -hmm. doing their own little meet and greet over at, at their house. So he doesn't trust any of them. No. Speaking of the women in the cult, we got Allie, Ivy, and Winter in the same room together, and Allie let them have it. Yeah, finally, she came face to face to face and got to talk to Ivy. We've been waiting this for a while. Yeah. And to be honest, Ivy's reasoning for joining the cult, which she gives to Allie, is like, Indefensible. It is the dumbest reason. Yeah. She wanted some structure in her life. She drove her wife crazy. People died. There was a mass shooting. There was all these things were involved because she was just upset with her and wanted more structure in her life. 
and uh, the the pivot at the end of her character to make her more of an asshole, where mm. she's like driving in some lines to Allie, just to let you know, oh, okay, she's probably gonna die right now. She probably poisoned her. And then we get Winter and her whole explanation as to why she did all this. And yeah. the election is just one word. The election really messed me up. Like, come on, there needs to be a better reason for this. Her brother's a psycho. And she's like, just thinks that like he'll always protect her. I got news for you, Winter. Like he doesn't care about you. He already killed his brother. He he'll give kill a family. Shit. He he'll, he will kill family. <laughs> doesn't matter who you are. So like Winter as well. Like Ivy and Winter, I was pretty unimpressed with their reasoning and their motivations for joining the cult and f falling along with all the stuff that's happened. Winter also comes prepared with a printed out wiki how. Oh how, yes. How to leave a cult. Mm -hmm. 14 steps. My question for you, Greg. If you have this, it's 2017, why do you print it out? And then they had it in the room. She had it in the room right Why there. not just bring it up on your phone? Is it printed out so that Kai could maybe stumble upon the computer history and find out that it was printed? Oh my God. Oh my God! Winter, if you're looking up that kind of stuff, Use private browsing on your iPhone. Just like look it up really quickly. Show it to your girlfriends. Like that's how you, that's that's how it works. You don't need to print it out. So Kai brings over Ozzy and sits him down for a little pinky swear yep. for the moment that we all knew was coming, where he tells him, "Ozzy, oh, I am your father." Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> yeah, uh, I wasn't surprised. I don't think either of us were surprised. Nope. We kind of saw this coming that Kai was going to claim the fa being the father of Ozzy. <laughs> Messiah child. Later on, we'll find out that it's not exactly true. Nope. So just from some random guy telling you, I'm your dad, Ozzy decided, I'm gonna stay in the cult now. I'm cool here, it's, this is great. Okay, sure. What the fuck, Ozzy? <laughs> I found it hysterical though that Ozzy is drinking the metaphorical Kai Kool-Aid right now, yep. believing anything that Kai says, and that he just completely ditches his moms to hang out with this random stranger who claims to be his dad. Deuces, bye moms. You'll never do anything to me. I already have. Okay, so Allie got her revenge on Ivy. Finally, long awaited. Yes. And I enjoyed it. And I think that you and I knew it was happening pretty early on too. Oh yes. They, they made it pretty obvious. Um, if someone is talking about revenge and they're feeding you food and they haven't touched it yet, you know you're about to die. It was an awesome death, pretty damn vicious. I enjoyed seeing Allie get to watch Ivy die. Ivy's POV of Allie, just that smile was yeah. perfect. Yes, yeah, Sarah Paulson during this whole sequence was amazing, she was outstanding. I was totally rooting for her, but I do have to say that this poisoning is not Top Dog. Also, I found it pretty ironic that a chef slash restaurant owner would die by food poisoning slash wine, that pasta wine, too much of that. I must say, I was pretty excited to see Ivy leave. Like we've said, Ivy is so naive this entire season, all of her actions that, yeah. to the point where it's borderline stupidity. Like, no human being acts this way. For now on, I'll only remember Ivy because Ivy and Winter, and I'll just think of RuPaul's Drag Race like everybody else does. Ivy Winters! By the way, did you notice Allie's look? She looks a lot different. She got a makeover, obviously. Yeah. She's definitely made a transformation from the beginning of the season where she was panicked, hysterical. Now she's much more confident. You can see that in her physical well-being now too. Yeah, she's glowing. A lot of movies do this. There's one great example and William H. Macy's character in The Cooler. He's, yeah. His character transforms from like this guy was like, his suits are too big for him to yeah. later on he's like more in power, his suits fit. He's just a different character without them doing like montages of anything like changing suits or getting fitted or anything like that. Yeah, it's an effective way of telling us that this character is mm -hmm. not the same person that we met in episode one. Yeah. She is completely different and that means trouble for Kai, to be honest. And finally, we find out that Kai is a horrible dad. Yeah, in the five minutes that he's a father, we find out, one, he has a temper tantrum. He doesn't know how to take real facts. <laughs> yeah, when you're presented with facts, this is not how you're supposed to react. Wikipedia is fake news. I'm the only one you can trust. I'm the only one who knows the truth. I know things. That's totally Kai channeling Trump right there. And then he put Ozzy on timeout, okay. <laughs> 
Okay, let's look at our favorite lines of the episode. Ryan, what do you got? There were a few that I really enjoyed, but my absolute favorite was from Kai when her and Allie are disposing of Ivy's body. Ooh. Best for family. I just find it hysterical that Kai has these rules. He's a total nut job, but he has these rules that he cannot break. He could not put another body, a dead body, where his family is. That's the family pile over there. That's the family pile over there on the bed. Dude, stop taking the Adderall. Yeah, dude is a psycho. Anyways, uh, what was your favorite line? I got this one from Ivy. I was an idiot. We all were. The election made me lose my mind. You're preaching to the choir, sister. Oof. All right, Greg, so who won the episode? I'm gonna go with Allie, but not because of killing Ivy or the stuff with Kai. It has to do with the fact that she overcame her fear of clowns, the comic book that she gave to Oz. She's just like you. You guys both overcame your fear of clowns. I did not. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Well, Allie did, and um, she's my winner as, as well. Um, not only getting revenge on Ivy, mm -hmm. killing her in epic fashion, but also then at the end, getting into Kai's good graces, to faking it like they're one big happy family. Yeah. Now she's safe, or she thinks she's safe, and her son is safe. Kai seemingly always has another plan, another thing up his sleeve, yeah. but it feels like at this moment, Allie has the upper hand. And one last thing on winners, we can't forget to bring up Evan Peters and Sarah Paulson. They're amazing in this episode. Yeah, kudos to both of them. Evan Peters for playing almost, mm -hmm. what, five roles in this? He did three cult leaders. He played Jesus as well in that one scene. Yes. And he plays Kai. I mean, he can literally do anything in this show. And then Sarah Paulson, just how badass she was in this episode. It's very refreshing to see this Sarah Paulson and not the panic, screaming, frightened, sc like crying Sarah Paulson that we saw earlier in the season. Okay, so here are our final thoughts on the episode. Uh, first off, What's going on with the sperm donor that they showed in that yeah. photo? Is that gonna come back anywhere around in the final couple episodes? Immediately or when I saw his face, I was like, his real father has to play some role down the end here. I, I, I would assume so, but who knows now because she yeah. put on that lie with Kai, who knows? Also, just for the show in general, are there any more likable characters on this show left? Everyone's an asshole. I don't think there's one person that you wanna root for. No, no. Ozzy? D He's a kid. He's gonna let us down too though, I have a feeling. Twisty the Clown. Yeah, no. I couldn't help but think why Allie wouldn't have just killed Kai right there during the meal. She already poisoned her wife. Yes. Why not poison Kai right there? I know there's two episodes left and we can't kill Kai. That's the only reason I have. I assume that maybe she was worried that someone was gonna taste test the food. That's right, he did bring that up earlier in another episode about taste testing. Yeah. But go for it. One last thought before we go, who do you think is gonna die next? I think it's gonna be Beverly. I think it's her time. Um, just from her character, we don't need anything else with her. He's gonna run for Senate, and I don't think he's gonna put her back on camera anytime soon. Yeah, she's not camera ready. Um, that's a good one. I think Winter. I think that Allie's next move is to get rid of Winter, mm -hmm. and it would really mess up Kai and make it a little unstable, and then that's her out. That's her out. Get, grab Oz and just bounce. Just get out of there, girl. Just go. Have Kai kill Winter. Oh. You seduced my wife. You used her to destroy my family. Look at the chaos out there! It's not what you've done. It's what you're about to do.